Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Luis, this is my very good friend Taylor and I wanted to use this uh, moment to kind of introduce you Taylor to, to the picture here because I feel like most of the people that have been following my low training workouts uh, are very familiar to what I do. I'm an endurance athlete and a personal trainer and a gym owner but I, wanna, I want people to get to know you. Uh, so why don't you just okay. tell them a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my name is Taylor. Um, I'm a personal trainer and also a calisthenics athlete. So what that is, is handstands, body weight training skills, um, just having your body in different positions that are very hard to hold and do. Um, so if you're interested in some calisthenics, I have my own YouTube channel at TT Movements um, that you can check out as well. Um, but otherwise, just getting into fitness because not only physically, but it's helped me mentally. Um, it's just such a huge part of my life. And so I want to help others with that as well. So that's pretty much, you know, the basics. In a nutshell. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, I think um, both of us wanted to create this channel to provide you guys with uh, some very functional style of training that is with minimal equipment, utilizing the low training uh, package that we have available now uh, so you guys can actually follow this style of workouts from home and get the benefit of what this style of training does regardless of what type of, uh, of fitness journey you might be on I feel like this style of training correct me if I'm wrong I feel like this is this is like putting oil in the machine regardless of what type of style of training you do correct I mean absolutely it's so important to build the foundations of the movements of the body for any kind of training. So if you get this down, you can branch out wherever you want, you know, after. So yeah, it's super, super awesome. I think you guys are really gonna like this, so. Awesome. Okay guys, uh, so we wanna make this first workout uh, to expose a little bit more about the package that we have and what's included in this, uh, with these tools that we are offering to you guys. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, I'm just gonna let you guys really quick know what kind of tools we're gonna be using. So we have the we have the performance block right here that we're gonna be using today. We have the long resistance band. Uh, we have the performance wedges, and we have the smaller resistance band for today's workout. Um, those are the only tools that we're gonna use today besides our body. Uh, and we created a, a, we, we have a warm up segment that we're gonna go for and then we're gonna get into an imom uh, which is every minute on the minute we're gonna be doing a different exercise uh, it's a 20 minute imom we have four different exercises that we're gonna uh, do on that part uh, and basically we're going for five rounds or during those 20 minutes uh, and then so I'm just gonna go through the workout guys uh, I'll tell you guys what we're gonna be doing uh, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it a go with the warm up. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a transition into the emo uh, to set the timer, and then we'll go, we're gonna go with that. And there's a little finisher at the end uh, just for fun. Um, okay, guys. So for the warm up, we're doing ten hip hinges. Uh, we're doing ten shoulder uh, mobility, opening the shoulders uh, with the resistance band, with the longer resistance band, and then we're gonna go for. Uh, 30 mountain climbers, just to wake up the, the core and the upper body a little bit more, get a little bit of cardio going before we move into the harder part of the workout. So we're doing two rounds of, of those three movements and then we're gonna move to the main set, which is the emo, 20 minutes, uh, five rounds of four different exercises. So we're gonna be doing 10 push-ups. Any type of a push-up you wanna do, it's okay. Uh, if you're struggling with the push-ups, try to do them on your knees, uh, but we're going to be using the performance wedges for that part and we're going to try to do them on a slow motion, trying to open up the chest really well every time we get to the bottom of the push-up. Um, so using very high quality form for every one of the exercises. Um, for the second exercise, we're going to be doing a seated band uh, pull. So we're going to be sitting on the performance block for that part and we're going to use the band to do the pull. So Taylor just kind of show them here how this one looks. So we're going to be here, get that core engaged, chest up, and we're pulling, get those shoulder blades together, really squeeze, and then back. And then 
how do people how do people can make it harder if they're feeling like they can go a little harder? So if you want, that's with the resistance band. I mean, you just grab a little lower. If you want to get more, can you spread it out a little more? Just to get more resistance, get more pull for with that one. So and what's happening with the performance block over there? Do you feel like is it is it doing something versus sitting on the floor for you? Absolutely. I mean, the way my core has to engage so that I don't fall backwards throughout this whole movement is just going to be super beneficial in this movement and also gets to hit the core a lot more than you would if you were just sitting on the ground. Excellent. All right, uh, so that's the second exercise, guys. And then for the third one, we're going to be doing squats. Uh, you guys are going to see us doing two different squats. I have Taylor just doing a regular air squat, and I'm going to be doing an overhead squat motion that is going to kind of force myself to be very mindful of how I'm moving my upper body when I'm squatting, uh, opening my shoulders. And I'm, we're gonna use that resistance band for that one. Um, and, and, and we're also gonna use the performance wedges to have the, the heels stepping on the wedges just to create that sensation of pressing with the heel more when you're doing the squat. And for people that might have a little bit of a, of a struggle getting into a deep squat, just being on the floor, the wedges are going to help you get a little deeper into your own squats. You're going to start, you're going to get more bang for your walk using the wedges when you're doing the squat movement. Um, and then the last exercise, we're doing a 20 side uh, a step, a, a steps with the resistance, with the little resistance band. And that one, guys, is going to be. It's gonna be a glute uh, exercise that is gonna force your legs to really fire uh, those glute muscles really well. Um, so for that one, we're going for 20 repetitions. Uh, you can you can you can keep the band kind of a little um, cl closer to the middle of your shin. If you wanna make it harder, you can go lower. So just kind of play with where you want to be and with your kit you get two different colors. We're using the blue one which is a little harder but the green one on your kit is a little lighter so you can also use that one as well. So just, just kind of play, play with which one you want to use. And I was going to say if you're wondering where to get this awesome kit, um, the link is going to be in the description. Um, we also have another video that kind of shows you some other options and exercises that you can do with all this. and. There's going to be more workout videos coming, so um, click that link in the description, get yourself a kit, and then we'll get to this workout. And subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. Okay, guys. Uh, so with that, without going too farther into this, uh, let's get into the workout. We're going to start with the warm-up. We're going to do 10 hip hinges. Uh, then we'll do 10 uh, shoulder shoulder open in the shoulder mobility with the with the resistance band and we're, then we're gonna move to 30 mountain climbers okay are you ready all right i'm ready okay so let's start with using the wedges right. okay so uh, for this one guys you see the wedges i'm gonna be stepping with the wedges on this position so the narrower or the thinner side of the wedges is facing me um and you can be hip width apart and I like to do hip hinge motions opening most of my shoulders right here and keeping a neutral position for my head and so my spine is neutral and I'm not looking up or down as I do the motion I'm going to keep in, keep in the head in that position and just feel like how much stretch I get from, from, from my hamstrings so let's, let's go let's start with 10 of those so nice and controlled there, trying to spend a few seconds at the bottom if you can. Think that somebody's pulling you from your belt towards the back. So you're driving those hips to the back. You can have your, ideally have a little bit of a slight bend on your knees to driving those hips back. Taylor, I think this is five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six. Now we're doing a couple extra. Yeah, just, so just for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. And ten. Good. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna do 
gonna get to open those shoulders now. So you can start wider, right, Taylor? Or if yeah. you feel that you're you can handle the going narrower, you can do it on a narrower uh, uh, position, and that's gonna make it work a little harder for this one. So uh, explain what we're doing over here, Taylor. So with this one, let's start down here. We're going overhead. Just getting that resistance, feeling that stretch as you come through. Going as far as you can comfortably. And then all the way back through. So just really opening those shoulders with this one. Um, and like we said, you know, if you need to go wider, it's okay. Just start wider and you can work your way towards more resistance and working towards the middle of the band with this one too. So we started, we're on, this is three. three. You're just waking up that body really well right now. So being kind, especially when you're warming up, guys, you're trying to just let the body wake up. Uh, so I always tell people, try to slow yourself down, especially on the first round of your warm up, uh, just to let the body wake up. Absolutely, super important. Always get that warm up in, get yeah. your body, like you said, to wake up before we go into the intense, intense part. Yeah. Let's do one more here. Nice. Excellent. Okay, and now we're gonna do uh, 30 mountain climbers. Don't go crazy fast on them, just kind of pretend that you're jogging. You're not going crazy fast, but I want you driving those knees very uh, close to where the elbows are in between. Um, and just trying to have a very good foundation for, for your body. Awesome, let's do this. Okay, 30 of those. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Okay, and that kind of starts to put a little bit of cardio in you. You start feeling like, oh, the blood is pumping. Yeah. And we just need a little bit of core. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so let's go back to hinging. We go one more time through. Opening the chest wide and open. Feeling like your back muscles are squeezed. Uh, neutral head position. A slight bend on your knees. Driving those hips to the back. There you go. Feeling those hamstrings get a good stretch. One. Feel Thank you. 
Oh, that felt good. Everything's waking up. Okay, one more round of one night climbers. Alright, let's start in three, two, one, go. Feel those, feel those glutes working, feel those quads, feel everything connecting throughout it. Let's do one more. That might have been 11, and that's okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, really quick, we're gonna put a little resistance band on, and just 20 side steps. Each side is one repetition. You can go for 10 on each leg. So, ready, let's go. So this one, yep, one, two, Three, four, five, six, fighting the resistance on the way in. Ten, let's do ten more. Feeling them already. Oh yeah. This one should get the burn going. If you're feeling the burn by ten, make it a little harder. Yeah, going a little wider. And 20. Oof, 
that one really gets you. Okay, first round is done. We we'll move to the uh, push-ups again. Okay, and slow it down, guys. Like Taylor was saying, feel how you're connecting the body really well. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Yeah. 
Definitely. And I feel that the other advantage is you get a, now a little more space from the ground. You yeah. get to open your chest a little more too. Yeah, I get way more range of motion. Uh huh. Okay. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We always try to work pushing and pulling motions together, guys. So you're working both sides of your upper body. I see you going with your nose breathing there, Taylor. Good job. Thanks, man. I've been trying. It, it's definitely really helpful. That was eight.
three, two, one, let's go. Four, 
three, two, one, let's go.